Hey everyone, my name is Marcin and in today's video I want to talk about color profiles and how to edit your image within seconds or minutes using color profiles. In this video I will be using my own color profiles that I have created. So if you want to know how to get them, I will speak about this at the end of this video. And also even though this is a video on quick effect, it will require some talking from my side, so please bear with me. And this is already a finished image. I can show you how it looked before. It was something like this. So of course I applied some adjustments, like I straightened this, but mainly the color effect that is created over here is because of the color profile I used. So when it comes to the color profiles, you can find them in the basic panel once you open color profile tab. This is my color profiles, but you will have provided by Adobe profiles such as Adobe Raw, Camera Matching, uh, some others like Artistic, Black and White, etc. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this. Uh, some of them give you quite natural results, which is good for portraits, possibly. And the ones that are a little bit more artistic, it's a little bit too much. So I'm creating my own profiles so I can use them for my own personal work like this image. So first of all, I'm going to reset this because I want to start from very beginning to show you the working process. So the first thing I do on my personal images, I hit auto to do some auto adjustments. It's usually good start to see where the image is going. Once I did this, um, I'm just in a little bit more. So I might uh, bring um, the shadows more, take down more highlights. I will apply more clarity to this image and just a little bit of the haze. And the reason for that is um, I just want this image to be uh, crispy, to be very sharp and visible. So in case there was some the haze, I added these few points. A little bit of contrast because usually auto adjustments take away the contrast and with exposure I'm gonna hold on for a second. Then I'm going to open profiles. So the first profiles are with my Lightroom course. I'm not gonna use them. I don't want to use the profiles from Lightroom course, a little unfair. So I'm going to use the profiles that are on my page. And as you can see, each of them give some different effect. So I would describe this as something similar as mobile app that give you very different effects. Uh, for example, this one Baltic thing gives really amazing effect here. And if we go with Alien, it's more bluish. It's um, slightly different. Uh, the forest here give you very strong blues and a little bit of pinky effect around the highlights, which I really like. Uh, I have one called Kodachrome, which is now under new name, uh, Vivid, but I still keep it under Kodachrome name. So that's why you see Kodachrome in me. And I have some film lights as well. But for this image, I already decided to go with this effect. I'm going to close it. And that's it, as you can see. Uh, the color effect is achieved. Once I have it, I'm going to more with the shadows and do a few more adjustments over here that could affect this image more positively. So on this level, now I will move to some other sliders. I don't want to work on the color anymore. I just want to enable profile correction for this image. I want to transform this to make this image straight, of course. So I'm going with auto and I will set slightly better position here. So also we'll adjust the scale a little bit more. And what I like to do to complete this film kind of effect, I will go to effects and I will add a little bit of gray. So now this image look a little bit like from film camera and that's it so now i'm going to move to some other image and we'll try to apply the effect again so first of all i'm going with auto i'm going to increase the clarity here 
a little bit of the haze, so it's all sharp, more from the shadows. And I'm going to color profiles. This time I'm going with my film profiles. I already checked. Most of them look really great, but I will go with 90s. And what's important to mention, you can actually increase the effect. As you can see, you can go with 200 or zero. You can adjust strength of your color profile no matter how strong you want it. So I think I might go even with 200 here, not big of a difference. I uh, close it. I want to make it more visible. So I might add a little bit more exposure here, or actually it's not too bad. Bring more blacks and I'm going to hue saturation luminance. I want to increase the saturation on certain colors. So yellows, reds, purples, magentas, everywhere that I see on the building. I want the colors to be uh, stronger, uh, vivid, more visible. Exception is blue. I don't think adding more saturation to the blue color uh, will do any good to me. So a little bit more here. And then I'm going to profile correction, of course. It helped a lot in this case. And also transform. And I will apply auto transform. I will see how it works. It's more likely straight I see on the bottom, but I can see it could be a little bit better. Minus one point this way. It feels even better now. And that's it. We can check before, after, quick edit using my color profiles. So how to get my color profiles and how to install them. I sell my color profiles on the website. As you can see, the, with fashion images. And it doesn't matter I for fashion images. I use them often as LADs, which I already told you for my personal work because I love to take... Uh, photos, I use them as color profiles and the photos I take are often landscape, something very different. So they are available on the website and where to install them. Once you download, once you have color profiles on your computer, you can hit Lightroom preferences and choose in preferences presets. So then show Lightroom develop presets, not all other Lightroom presets, that's some old ones. So Lightroom develop presets, and you are in the settings. So then I just applied, as you can see, folder with the profiles, I copied and paste into settings. So you put into settings, close it, turn off your Lightroom, turn on again to reset that and then color profiles will be visible here, all of them. And the ones at the top that uh, you can see, Lightroom course profiles, actually comes with my Lightroom course, whether it's on Udemy or Skillshare. So I'm also gonna put the a link uh, to Skillshare for those who um, don't have Skillshare account. Two months is for free, so you can join, get the Lightroom uh, profiles for free and enjoy the quick edits in your Lightroom. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's not everyone's favorite because it's not necessarily a tutorial. I'm just showing how to work with my color profiles, but I hope you enjoyed and I hope it's going to help you to speed up your workflow. And I'm going to talk to you very soon in the next video. Thank you.